Hog farming in Iowa has always had a large impact on the economy of the state. But prior to the 1980s, that impact wasn't always obvious. We're looking at the one bright spot in Iowa agriculture, and that's the pork industry, the area where we see a profit now. For the Iowa pork producers, one of the clearest ways to showcase pork production, connect with consumers, and demonstrate the impact the industry has on the state is by firing up the grill each year at the Iowa State Fair. You know, day after day, year after year at the State Fair, long lines form at the pork tent. So come on, let's go inside and see what's cooking. In the early 80s, 81 is when the first pork tent actually came, and it was actually a tent. Back then, there was no pork at the fair, and they wanted to promote pork. We need, to, we need more pork on the fair. And so then 87, or the late 80s, is when they actually put up a permanent structure, which everybody has come to the fair would recognize, right? The pork tent is as much a part of the state fairgrounds as the agriculture building and grandfather's barn, and it continues to be an annual must-visit location for a great number of fairgoers. And I'm gonna do it for a pork chop. That's how sincere I am. And I'm all the way from Kansas to do it. <laughs> In its 40 plus year history, the tent has provided more than two and a quarter million servings of pork, including more than 500,000 Iowa chops. It's like putting a puzzle together. <laughs> One of the most desired photo ops of any president or presidential candidate is right here at the Iowa Pork Producers Tent. I've done this before. The grill is maybe just as popular as the pork tent itself. Thousands of chops have been prepared by a wide range of guest chefs. You never know who might show up to flip chops for a few hours. Since actually Ronald Reagan was president, we've had every president been here at the pork tent or the chop on a stick, so we're pretty famous. Oh my God. With the thousands of people who come to sample the foods, it became clear that the pork tent building needed an update. A larger kitchen, more seating, and a front and center grill. Following the 2022 fair, the pork producers broke ground for a new structure. Yeah, so we've been, this has been working a five year project for us. It is our new pork tent that's coming this year, the fair. It's getting old. We wanted to kind of update. And we'll have a wide open seating arrangements here with our doors up. We'll have some patio seating on the outside. Um, plenty, of, plenty of spaces to sit with your family. So basically, the footing um, actually doubled the seating area a little bit. But it's going to be a lot more, lot more user friendly, a lot more family oriented in there. Doug has spent his whole life watching the pork tent evolve. It not only serves as a promotional venue, but also contributes to the festive atmosphere of the fair. It may be a new building, but the tent is still, first and foremost, about Iowa pork.